a sizable and surprising signing for AEW. I'm Matt Carlins, and this is Just Pro Wrestling News for Thursday, February 25th, 2021. A special welcome to those of you listening on the WrestlingRevolution.com. If you want to bring our updates to your website, email us, desk at JustProWrestlingNews.com. Results from last night's AEW Dynamite and NXT are straight ahead in this update, but first... AEW. A big announcement from AEW on Wednesday, the signing of Paul White, better known as The Big Show. AEW says White will join the commentary team alongside Tony Schiavone for a new YouTube show, AEW Dark Elevation. It was also mentioned on Dynamite that White is licensed to wrestle in AEW. White is set to appear on next week's Dynamite. As for the new show, it's going to debut on Monday, March 15th at 7 p.m. Also on Wednesday, Tony Khan tweeted that a second AEW show for TNT or another Warner Media outlet is still in the works for some time this year. Lance Archer is in the six-man ladder match at Revolution where the winner will get a shot at the TNT Championship. Archer beat Ray Phoenix in the main event of last night's Dynamite. Another spot in that match will be decided on next Wednesday's Dynamite when Dark Order's number 10, Preston Vance, faces Max Caster from the acclaimed. We also got two new matches announced for Revolution on Sunday, March 7th. Orange Cassidy and Chuck Taylor versus Miro and Kip Sabian and a tag team casino battle royal with the winner getting a shot at the AEW Tag Team Championships. It took two beast bombs, but Nyla Rose was able to beat Dr. Britt Baker last night. Rose advances to the U.S. final in the Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament. That's next Wednesday. She'll face the winner of Riho versus Thunder Rosa. It seems like no one was safe on Dynamite last night. First, the Young Bucks' dad was attacked and bloodied backstage by Chris Jericho and MJF. Papa Buck was taken away in an ambulance. Sting dragged a body bag out on stage to confront Team Taz and revealed inside an unconscious hook. Darby Allen then rode a zip line from the upper deck down to the ring, and Darby and Sting ran wild on Team Taz. Sting laid out Brian Cage with a stinger splash and a scorpion death drop. Before that, Cage and Ricky Starks did beat the Varsity Blondes. Hangman Page beat Isaiah Cassidy. Page got an assist from Dark Order's John Silver and Alex Reynolds. After the match, Matt Hardy vowed revenge against the Dark Order and got an immediate start on that by tossing Alan Angels off the stage. WWE Adam Cole promised an explanation for his recent attacks on Kyle O'Reilly and Finn Balor, but we didn't really get one. Instead, we got an emotional and apparently remorseful Cole at the end of last night's NXT. Don't worry, his true colors did eventually shine through. But first, he was interrupted by Roderick Strong, who was himself interrupted by Balor, who ran through Strong to get at Cole. Cole and Strong worked together to get the better of Balor. Then, Strong clotheslined Adam Cole. Only problem is, Strong seemed to regret it. That allowed Cole to draw him in for a low blow ripped the Undisputed Era chain off of Strong's neck and hit him with a super kick. Earlier, WWE announced that Kyle O'Reilly will be out of action for four to six weeks following Cole's attack on him last week. Dexter Loomis submitted North American champion Johnny Gargano in a non-title match last night. Io Shirai is set to defend the NXT Women's Championship in two weeks against Tony Storm. Shirai beat Zoe Stark in a non-title match last night. The no disqualification match between Karrion Cross and Santos Escobar was more like a three-on-one match as Cross battled all three members of Legado del Fantasmo, starting in the notorious NXT parking lot before making their way inside the Capitol Wrestling Center where Cross finally put away Escobar. We have a tag title match on today's NXT UK, Gallus defending against Pretty Deadly. Also, Zaya Brookside versus Nina Samuels, the loser will become the winner's personal assistant for a month. WWE officially announced the largest class of recruits in the history of the Performance Center. Some of the names have already debuted on NXT TV, including LA Knight, the former Eli Drake. Others were widely reported and rumored, but only now confirmed by WWE. That includes names like Taya Valkyrie and Blake Christian. New Japan Pro Wrestling. The last stop on New Japan's Road to Castle Attack is this morning. The main event is a junior tag title match. 
El Phantasmo and Taiji Ishimori defending against El Desperado and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Tetsuya Naito is back on the card for the first time since he was sidelined with a knee injury early last week. He'll be part of a six-man tag. He is set to challenge Kota Obushi for the IWGP Intercontinental Championship on Sunday's Castle Attack show. That's just pro wrestling news for Thursday, February 25th. Our next update comes your way tomorrow morning. Please rate, review, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.